Hello friends, welcome you all to Digital Marketing Tips YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you setting up the Google indexing API for your blogger website. In this step by step guide, I will show you how to easily implement this powerful tool to make sure your website gets indexed by Google efficiently. So let's get started. Uh, we have to carefully uh, listen this, uh, follow these steps. Uh, there are eight steps to do this. Uh, step one is creating a Google API Cloud Console project, and the second step is creating service account, and the third step is adding your service account as an owner in Google Search Console. And step four is generating J J S JSON key, and step five is enabling enabling the indexing API, and step six is connecting to your Google Drive, and step seven is replacing your Google Drive path. And step 8 is replacing your post or page URL and running the code. By following these 8, these eight steps, you can successfully index your websites, uh, website pages by using uh, Google Cloud Indexing API. Let's start with step 1. In step 1, we will do the creating a Google API Cloud Console project. To do this, go to Google and search for Cloud Console. And here, click on this uh, website, Google Cloud Platform. Then here, click on this terms and service and click on agree and continue. And you should make sure that uh, that your email ID should be the same as as which associated with your blogger website and Google Search Console. And then here, create the new project here. Here, click on New Project. And here, you, you have to give a project name. You can give your project name as uh, as your uh, blogger name. Here you can see if you are an organization, you can select your organization. Uh, if not, then click on create. As you can see, now our project is created. Next step is second step is creating service account. To create service account, click on this select project. As you can see, our project is now here appears as name as Home Talks Digital Marketing. And from the menu left hand side, click on I am an admin and here go for service accounts. And now, now click here create service account. And here give the service account name, same as it is as a uh, as your blogger name. Give the same blogger name here also. And here the service account description. It's optional. If you want to give, you can give. And here it it's come here the email address. Copy this email address and paste it into a notepad. It will be useful for further uh, process. It will be we can use this email address in further process. And then here click create and continue. And now we have to select the role. Here, we have to select the role as owner. And here you can also, if you have any, if you are creating for your team, then you can add here another role. 
for any uh, your teammate okay as this is for my individual i am deleting this so then clear here then click continue and now you can add in the next base grant users access to his service account you can give access to service accounts to this service account that is optional if you have any other in your team members you can give this access to your team members if you have you can here add their email names okay and then give them admin access as i don't have any this um, is as as i'm creating this for individual so i'm clicking on done as you can see our service account is created now the third step is adding your service account as owner in google search console or connecting google search console you can go for your google search console account In this step, we are connecting the our Google Search Console. Okay, we are connecting our Google Cloud Search Console to Google Cloud Console. To this, go to connect this. Go to your settings it, at the left hand side. Okay, here go for user and permission. Click on users and permission, and here add user. and uh, previously what we have uh, already has copied this email address service account copy that and here paste here or else you can also copy here from uh, from this also you can copy okay then you access owner then click on add user is successfully added and next step is step 4 is generating json key to generate json key here click on these three dots and here go for manage keys click on manage keys and select manage keys to add the key create the key click on this and click select create key and select create new key and here select a key type as json and click on create as soon as you can see our key is been created and it is downloading and we have successfully created json key and it is downloaded on our device and now the fifth step is enabling the indexing api to do to do this uh, click on this dashboard and here go for api in services and here click on enable api service here click on enable api services once again click on enable api services as we are appear on api library here in search bar type indexing api and and then here select web search indexing api here select web search indexing api and click here click enable here as you can see now our api is enabled
as you can see the status is enabled we successfully enabled our indexing api and now the st sixth step is connecting to our google drive and now the sixth step is connecting to your google drive for that in google search console uh, search for google collab and click on this website then click on new notebook and give the title to this notebook Okay. Then here it, it the code uh, for the first step that is connecting to our Google Drive. Just copy this. I will paste this code. I will give this code on uh, in the description. You can take it. After pasting the code, click on this run cell. Now. Permit this notebook to access your Google Drive. Click on connect to Google Drive. Click on connect to Google Drive. And then select the email ID. Uh, and then scroll down and click on allow. Now, you, as you can, we get the successful message like mounted it, content or drive successfully connected. And now for our seventh step, that is replacing your uh, Google Drive path. For that, click on this code, add code, and simply paste this code. I will provide you the link of, of the blog post in which I have. Uh, place this code you can check it out that blog post after pasting this code simply click on run cell and now it's showing some error so we have to add here our api path to add api path you click on here files icon then here click on drive and here click on my drive and here we have to upload here click on upload and here click upload and upload the json key file which we have downloaded earlier okay after uploading that file it will be available here here it is a file i have already uploaded that file now simply copy that path after copying the paste here after pasting, click on run cell. Again, for the eighth step, final step, that is replacing your blocker URL and running the code. For the click on code and copy this code. I will provide the blog post link in which I have placed this code. You can check. You can check it out in the description section. After pasting the code, simply click on run cell. So now for, uh, the, we have to copy here the URL which you want to update. So copy the browser URL which you want to update. And here paste that URL and click on run, run cell as you can see we get a successful done message you have to bookmark this link bookmark, bookmark this link when, whenever we want you want to up, uh, update your blogger urls come to this your, this link and then Copy, then paste the URL which you want to 
index in indexing api click on run cell click on run cell you will get the message as successfully done and that's it by following these steps you have successfully set up the google indexing api for your blogger website your website will now be efficiently indexed by google contributing to better search engine visibility thank you for watching this tutorial if you found this video useful don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials and tips happy blogging take care bye